One of the hardest things that I see during the week helping people with their computers is when someone loses valuable or important pictures because they save the pictures in email and then either the email got deleted or the email program became corrupted and the pictures are gone forever. Email is not a permanent storage space for pictures. Even if you're using something like Google Mail, it's still best to download your pictures, save them on your computer, then copy them to CD if they're very important. And I'm going to show you how today in today's tip. In today's tip, I'm going to show you two different ways to save pictures from email. In this example, we have a couple of photos that have been attached via email here, and then some that are embedded in the email like this one we see here. So first, let's look at the embedded ones. If you get an embedded picture in an email, all you need to do is right-click on the image, anywhere on the image, and then click Save Image. Some programs will say Save Picture. My recommendation is always to choose My Pictures to save your photos, but you can put them wherever you want, just as long as you know where they're at. So I'll click My Pictures here, give a name of the image down here, and then click Save. Now the photo is on my computer, and it is saved in a safe place. If I have attached photos, I have a couple of different choices. I can double click on them and open them and then save them, or easier yet, just right click on the attachment and then click Save As. Or if your particular email program has the Save All option, that's even better. So we're going to do that one Save All. And it's going to ask you to browse for a folder. I'm going to choose my pictures. I'm going to click OK and now all of the photos are saved. The only difference between doing Save All and Save As, since I did the Save All, it did maintain these file names, which are the archaic file names that are given to us by our digital cameras. If you want to change the file name like I did with the embedded photo, you need to right-click on it, choose Save As, then you will get the opportunity to choose your location, change the file name here, and click Save. From now on, don't save your photos in your email. Instead, download the photos by saving them from the email to your computer as an individual file that you can view easier, find easier, and most importantly, back up easier in the future.